Good morning and welcome to the second video of the Life After Loss series. My name's Kerry Waring and firstly I want to thank all of you to the response I've received regarding uh, the first video. Um, all of your, your Facebook messages, your comments, you, uh, whether on Facebook or YouTube, Instagram, um, thank you to your emails. Um, while there is too many for me to respond individually, I really want you to know that I do read every single one of them. Um, I take them all to heart because your, your well wishes, your thoughts, your condolences all really do mean a lot. And even for those of you that are mentioning that um, it might help you in some way. Um, that's part of the reason, you know, so thank you. And um, in today's video, I really wanted to talk to you about giving yourself permission to feel how you feel. So when it comes to grief, and that's what we're talking about here, I'm sharing with you um, part of my grief journey, and um, which is really recent, just these last couple of months, um, been dealing with that and um, just my former husband just passed away a couple of weeks ago so um, so I really want to share with you because one of the things that I've seen over the years as a medium and working with people that um, all experience grief as I'm bringing through their loved ones you know is sometimes I come across people who really struggling with their grief because of the expectations of others. You know, the comments that sort of says things like, hey, you should be over it by now. You know, why are you still feeling this way? Why are you still crying? Um, and then they're left feeling um, that it complicates their grief because they're, they're feeling pain, they're feeling loss. Um, but then it's complicated by the fact that they're either feeling guilty because they're affecting others, they're like questioning whether they really should be over it, um, is that normal, you know, all of that. It just complicates um, things that are not there. So I really want you, um, if grief is part of where you're at at the moment, if you feel like you perhaps have... Um, are stuck in your grief and if you have because of life and the expectations of others have somehow pushed it under the carpet um, please don't do that it won't serve you well at all so give yourself permission to feel how you feel and yes that will be a whole gamut of emotions it'll range from shock to disbelief to anger to um, pain, guilt, all of that. And I must admit, in the last couple of weeks, I have felt every single one of those, <laughs> you know. So, um, and even to the point of, so, so me and my family, my children, they've lost their dad. I've lost a former partner. And I know that um, the depth of my grief probably doesn't, a lot of people probably don't get it or probably don't understand it because he was an ex-husband, you know. Um, and the reality is, yes, I can explain that, you know, by the fact that we were together for 25 years. Um, but all that history, it is what it is. He was a big part of my life and the reality is is for me divorce wasn't an ending of having any emotions or feelings for him there wasn't any um anger on my part yeah I'm sure he felt that towards me <laughs> you know um but we had um towards the end of last year he'd stepped into his healing journey with it and we had reconnected. So there was a level of caring and I had um, made a promise to him, or we had to one another, really, um, 
that if there was anything he ever needed, that I would be there. And for me, that was, wasn't even a choice. It wasn't, you know, so when he came to me and reached out to me about this happening in his life, my straight up response, no thinking was, hey, you know, I'm there, Rod, what do you need from me? You know, it was very much um, we would do this as a family. We would tell the kids together. We would, um, you know, what did he need from me? He could, um, he was in charge, you know. He could say who he um, needed help from. Um, but his first response was, um, I've got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday and I said, do you want me to be come with you? And he said, yes. So um, from that moment, we were doing it as a family. And now I know that that's not the usual way that people approach this when you're exes. I had a conversation with the um, palliative care manager last week and he told me in 25 years he'd only ever seen an ex in the picture and caring for a former partner two or three other times in 25 years. So I know it's not normal. So I know there's lots of people around us um, probably struggling with the fact that that's what it was, <laughs> that um, we weren't married, we had um, stepped out of one another's lives. Um, to a certain extent, um, but when something like this happens, for me, it wasn't, um, you do what you just do, and um, you care for the family members that you care for. For me, it was the same as if it was um, my mum, brother, sister, whatever, you know, you just do what you do, and um, be there for him as much as, you know, what my kids needed going through this and what I needed, you know. So, um, so it doesn't matter what other people think, okay? It doesn't matter what other people think because I know, as I said, there's people probably around us that have struggled with that or not understood it. And at the end of the day, none of that, this is about them. All that this is is about was about my former husband and my kids. And so when it's for you, when it's happening with you, all that matters for you and you, is you and your grief and how you feel. So honour that. Give yourself permission to feel it. Give yourself permission to move through the emotions um, if you need someone to talk to and you don't want to burden your family or your friends, then seek counselling. Get some grief counselling. You know, that's what they're there for. Um, for me, I journal. You know, I, I journal because it, my journaling allows me to connect with my higher self and that part of me that is connected to the divine. So. Um, I can get guidance and um, answers to my questions and I'll get slapped over the head <laughs> and reminded of things um, of a higher level of awareness through my journaling. So, so use your journal, bring it out. Um, just give yourself permission to feel. And I guess I'm doing that by coming to you and sharing in these videos. So um, really, I know that it, it doesn't matter the emotions that whatever the journey is, whether it's grief because of you've lost someone, whether it's grief because of um, divorce, trauma, any of life experiences that causes this kind of emotion. Um, true power lies in your ability to be in your truth with it. Good, bad, ugly, whatever it is. True healing comes from that by honouring, by being in your truth. It doesn't come from, hey, you know, I've got to 
upbeat my vibe and be all positive thinking brigade. That's the bullshit we tell ourselves, to be honest. So just be in your truth it's, and allow the healing. Know that in being in your truth, you're walking forward. It might be slow. It might be um, it takes time. But certainly as long as we keep looking for the gift, as long as we keep looking for the healing, we'll keep progressing and we will come out the other side in some form. So if you have other people around you placing expectations on you that are complicating your grief, then say that. Say, express it. Say, look, I'm really struggling right now and I really don't need to hear that from you. You know, um, I can tell you that grief is not something that we ever fully get over. I know with my brother, there was a moment 12 years down the track where I was stepping in to go, my grief had come up. I needed some healing with it. I chose to go to the, um, the World Suicide Prevention Day and um, it was literally like it had happened last week, you know, and um, that was 12 years later. You know, I think grief always shifts and changes. It adjusts, it becomes um, and integrates to be a part of who you are. Um, but it's not something you ever get over. So if people are saying anything along those lines to you, then, you know, they do not understand the process. They're coming from a lack of awareness. And to be honest, thinking about themselves more than they're thinking about you. So give yourself permission no matter what people think because truly it's your healing is all that matters. And love yourself enough to be in that space. So thanks for listening and um, have a great day.